the world's oldest football league club size up their chances in the world's oldest cup competition. We can be forgiven for surrendering to nostalgia. This was a fixture that bore all the hallmarks of an FA Cup upset. Notts County have had famous days at Meadow Lane in recent times, notably holding Manchester City in 2011. Here, they promised to go one better and see off their Premier League rival Swansea City once and for all. County are second in League Two and making rapid strides under the guidance of manager Kevin Nolan. This performance, particularly in the second half, showcased all the verb and ambition of his side and their progress was underlined by the feeling Nolan's side may even have missed an opportunity by failing to complete the comeback and win the game. Knox County 4-4-2 Colin 6.5 Hunt 7 Duffy 7, Brisley 7, Dickinson 6, Hawkridge 7, Hewitt 6.5, Hewson 6.5, Smith 90, Grant 7.5, Amy Obi 7, Alessandra 84, Stead 7, Subs not used, Pindroach, Forte, Noble, Walker, Jones, Goal Scorers, Stead 62, Booked, Grand Manager, Kevin Nolan 7, Swansea 3-4-3, Lord Felt 6, Bartley 5.5, Mawson 5.5, Van der Horn 6, Robert 6, Narzing 7, Sanchez 4, K32 6.5, for 5.5, Klukas 63, 6, Carroll 6, Bernie 5, Abraham 5, Iowa 70, 6, Subs not used, Routledge, Rangel, Mulder. McBurney goal scorer, Narzing 45, booked, Sanchez, Lord Felt manager, Carlos Carvalho 5.5, referee, Michael Jones attendance, 9,802 mum, Grant instead. They have a replay, potentially money spinning if the television cameras deign to broadcast the game, and that is no small achievement. At Meadow Lane, they watched with envy as city rivals Nottingham Forest adorned the back pages by humiliating Arsenal. Now they have their own moment in the sunshine. The county lineup gleamed with familiar names. In particular, former Newcastle forward Shola Amy Obi and his strike partner John Stead at right back. The ex Bolton defender Nicky Hunt took his place, and the former Manchester United forward Alan Smith also waited on the substitutes bench. Swansea, meanwhile, are rooted to the foot of the Premier League table. Manager Carlos Carvalho's priorities were made clear by eight changes to his team's starting 11, but this side still retained the quality of players such as Alfie Mawson. Lee Royfer, Wilfred Boney and Tammy Abraham, Renato Sanchez, the Bayern Munich Loney. Also started in midfield and he could not have imagined he would be part of a rotated team in unglamorous surroundings when he made the move to South Wales last summer. Sanchez underperformed once more, exiting the fray through injury in 32 minutes. In the draw at Wolves in the third round, he departed in similar circumstances, yet for 45 minutes. This occasion threatened to pass by Nolan's side, his team were timid, allowing their higher tier opponents time in possession and room to weave their pretty patterns. Swansea grew into the game, albeit unspectacularly, and after Mike van der Horn came close with a header, the visitors took the lead on the stroke of half time. Key Sung Young on for the injured Sanchez, found space on the edge of the box and thread the ball through for Luciano Narzing, who took a touch and fired hard and low into the corner of the goal. The din of the home crowd briefly gave way and during the interval we wondered whether the air had now been fully deflated from County Saloon. Such suspicions were immediately dispelled after the interval. In the second half, County were a different side. They harassed their opponents, anticipating sharply. Pressing as one and biting into tackles, they transformed this into a battle where character and personality counted for more than skill and close control. Confidence began to flow through Nolan's side and a succession of chances ensued. Jorge Grant whipped a glorious free kick inches past the post. Grant came alive, nutmegging Mawson before being hauled down by the defender. 
He flashed another shot wide of goal. Terry Hawkridge floated over across and Sean Brisley arrived with the timing so familiar in his manager's playing days. It was a gilt-edged header that Nolan would have buried. Sadly his midfielder Brisley steered the effort wide of the goal. Yet the tide had turned and Swansea's resistance gave way. Carvalho's team were ruffled to the extent their goalkeeper. Christopher Nordvelt received a yellow card for time wasting with only 55 minutes on the clock. If that conduct represented the loss of Swansea's dignity, they soon surrendered their lead as well. Amy Obi's talent and year. As he showed by holding up the ball inside the area and teeing up Grant, whose low cross was swept into the goal in the six-yard box by Stead. That's why you're going down, teased the home crowd to the visiting Swans. Yet to consider this game through the lens of Swansea's considerable failings would do Notts County a grave disservice. They drew this game because they competed fiercely, passed the ball vibrantly and eventually developed a clinical edge in front of goal. Instead, they had the most informed striker on the pitch and this was his sixth goal in the last six games. Swansea did at least regain their composure and Boney should have scored when he headed wide. Yet a defeat would have an injustice for County and the roar that greeted the full-time whistle encapsulated the collective spirit that grew as this game worn on. Now for the replay.